What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Stat Tag. In this video, we're going to be going over a my review on the Chicom chest rig and whether it's still applicable today, whether you should get one, and spoiler alert, I'm gonna say yes because you can pick them up really cheap, but I'll get into that later. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be going over the cost, super easy, uh, philosophy of use, features on it, then the pros and cons. I'm also going to be showing you me demoing the chest rig by doing some mag reloads with my AK. Um, go over, I'll go over some mods that I did to it that are super simple. And then at the end, I'll go over some upgrades that I want to do to it in the future. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so I bought this chest rig about six months ago because I was just looking for a project, something that I could dick around with, upgrade, and also, I found out about these on YouTube, and they were really cheap. It's about $12, $15 on Amazon, uh, which if you're interested in it, I'll leave a link to it in, uh, for Amazon below that you can click on. Should be about $15. I think they're going up a bit in price, but still pretty damn dirt cheap. And I, this one that I got on Amazon was in pretty good condition. And I was overall pretty impressed with the value with it. I've taken it to... A bunch of range sessions and also some backpacking trips uh, just to see test it out use it more see how I liked it and overall I'll say that I was pleasantly surprised with the value of it um, if you're curious about the history of it and you're thinking about getting one they are they do have a good uh, what's the word I don't know good history to them that proves they're uh, worthy of combat Basically, they were used by the Viet Cong in the Vietnam War and also U.S. Special Operations and Soviet soldiers used them in the Soviet-Afghan War to fit in with the uh, domestic population or whatever. Can't think right now doing this video late. Uh, also, if you have any feedback for us on these videos, feel free to drop a like and a comment or a dislike. <laughs> If you, this video really sucks, we'd love to get some feedback and meet some of you guys, see who's actually watching our videos. And I'll try to show some footage or video clips that I can fit in here. Anyways, the cost, this cheap chest rig right here is cheap as fuck, $15. I think I already mentioned that, which makes it pretty much a no brainer. So you might as well get one, uh, unless you don't have $15, which maybe you should save that for a Chipotle burrito or something. Uh, you can use it, it's pretty much a good deal whether you're on a budget, you need it to arm your peasant army because maybe shit hits the fan and you need to give something to your neighbor or your buddy that uh, never cared about preparing for shit until shit goes down and you just give them this cheap ass chest rig. It's actually pretty decent for the value. And it's also basically the reason I got it was just to have something to play around with, mess around with. It's a chest rig that was made for AKs. And have, being an AK guy myself, figured why not? If a bunch of people in the past have used it for AKs, thought I could give it a shot. Next thing I want to talk about was philosophy of use, uh, which I already touched on a bit, but I think it'd be a great lender chest rig. It could. I've used it a ton for like just giving it to a buddy. If they don't have gear, and I'm trying to take them to the range. And of course, arming your peasant army just to have some things that they can carry some ammo on them. You can also use it for airsoft. I haven't done airsoft in a long time, but it's so cheap and you can pretty much fit any type of mag in here uh, with some modifications uh, to get it running. It's a good cheap project for gear. If you wanna like, I don't know, if you're bored and you wanna dick around with something, have something to mod and upgrade, then uh, try out the Chicom chest rig. It also works great for AK mags, which you can pretty much fit any type of it. You can fit any type of AK mag. Let me correct myself into this Chicom chest rig, which is pretty sweet. Uh, sometimes if you get a chest rig that's not made for AKs, fitting certain mags into it, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Like I have the Mayflower chest rig. It's not made for AKs. It's made for AR, so I can only really fit steel mags in it. Everything else gets caught up in the mag pouch. And then also, which something that I was thinking of recently, 
lot of people have been obsessed with micro chest rigs in the past if to stay low key be a gray man whatever this would also be a great option for that because not only is it cheap but you could also easily fit this under a jacket or shirt or something and it won't stick out very much because it's made out of a thin material that's also durable uh, so it could be a good covert chest rig and overall you can keep it as simple as you want which that's what i'm doing right now i'm probably going to change it up later or you could mod it and add more functions and make it more usable for different types of things and also who gives a shit as long as it works it might not be the prettiest chest rig but it definitely does work and uh who cares about blowing all your money on gear if you don't have to obviously there is a time and place for that but if you're on a budget, basically, you only have uh, $20 and you want something to carry your ammo and you're basically poor, just get a Chicom chest rig. And if you have sewing skills, just start sewing shit on there, which hopefully I'm going to be doing in the past just as an experiment, which I'll share with you guys in the future, uh, which that brings me to features which obviously there's not that many features on this thing because it's just a canvas surplus chest rig. Uh, but I will say this canvas material is very sturdy. Uh, it's not like jeans from H&M, that bullshit cam canvas that you get in those uh, cheap jeans that are made in some third world country, although this was made in China, but it's still pretty durable. And uh, as far as putting it on, that's pretty easy, which I'm probably not going to do that right now because that'll take too much time, but you just slip it in. It has a X harness, which I don't know if you can see this, and you just tie it like an apron. Apron. It's basically a tactical apron, which is kind of cool. It makes it really simple, which I think a buckle in the back would be better. That's a simple mod you could make. Just get a buckle at a craft store and just weave it through the straps in the back, which I'll probably be doing in the future. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, mag pouches, it holds three rifle mag pouches, which uh, isn't that much. Ideally you'd want more, but it's better than nothing. If you're on a budget, why not get it? They also have other different types of Chicom chest rigs. I forget their names, but they have one that fits uh, four mags, AK mags. And then also if you have an AR-15 or smaller mags that aren't as thick, as AK mags, you could also go with an SKS chest rig, which I believe they have five mag pouches. My brother, he has one, and maybe he'll do a review on that in the future, similar to this, to show it off, but those are your options there. Three mag pouches, and then it has these two little bullshit uh, pouches. They're kind of useless, honestly. I don't know what the hell they're meant for, maybe grenades or something. If you know what they're for, feel free to let me know in the comments below but I haven't really used them much. You could put like maybe a fucking snack bar in there or something or a little baggie of 22 ammo. So it's not really useful, but in the future, I think I'm going to be putting some molly on here, sewing it on here, putting some bigger pouches on here that could be used for things like, I don't know, putting a knife on this, that would be nice. Maybe something that could hold a radio, that would be useful. And I don't know, maybe some other mat, admin pouches that you could use for like a multi-tool or something uh, but overall yeah these things are a bit useful useless they all have flaps on them which to be honest i don't really use those which you might criticize me for having the mags up so dirt could get into these mags if you're rolling around the dirt which is very possible uh, the good news is you're probably using an ak which it will probably be fine but the reason i do this is it just make for faster reloads because you can get a beer can grip on your mags very easily and the flaps right now i'm just tucking them down if you do use them which i'll show you in a clip uh they're kind of a pain in the ass i can show you with this little pouch right here it kind of takes two hands to get it undone off this little knob it's just like a knob and a loop uh so it's good maybe for mag retention but it's not very fast, so I don't really use it. And plus, there's some upgrades I wanna do in the future to help with that. Uh, so it's not slow to draw mags, but if you keep the mags down, it's, they could come out if you're running or for some reason you're upside down, which I don't know why the fuck you'd be upside down, maybe you're doing a backflip. 
the flex on people or something. That's pretty dumb. So this will probably be fine. But long term, I think finding a way to retain these mags with either some type of elastic straps to keep them down that you could sew in or buying some pieces of nylon material that you could create Velcro straps to go over this and have the mag sticking out and have the flaps going over. That would probably be the most ideal thing for an AK so you could protect the uh, top of the mags from getting gunk in them if you're rolling around in some type of situation. Uh, pros and cons, which is this thing still filming. This video better fucking uh, not stop. But anyways, pros and cons, I'll run through them real quick. This chest rig is very lightweight and comfortable. I was pretty surprised by that. I was like, how fucking comfortable could a $15 uh, dollar chest rig be? It is very comfortable. Honestly, can barely even feel that it's on my chest, even with AK mags, fully loaded steel AK mags, which are pretty heavy once they're fully loaded. And it also, it's cheap. I already mentioned that. That's honestly the number one reason you should get it. It's cheap and it's durable. It's easy and simple to use. It's pretty basic, nothing complicated on going on here. You don't need to be a tactical guru to figure this thing out. So I would say overall, it's high value. And since it's so cheap, it's easy to not give a fuck about it. Like who cares if I, this, this thing got ruined for whatever reason, or I lost it in a boating accident, I wouldn't give a fuck because it's only $15. So you could get this or basically a Chipotle burrito, which I think this is cooler than a Chipotle burrito and uh, fuck Chipotle anyway. Anyways, uh, cons, flaps suck, which I mentioned already, and the mini pouches suck, which are pretty pretty much useless. Put a Snicker bar in, bar in here, maybe a pack of cigarettes or something stupid like that. I don't know, maybe they're for grenades, but I don't have grenades. Uh, demo, uh, just reading my fucking outline, ignore that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you some demos of me reloading with this chest rig with the different type of magazines. Also, I don't know if I already mentioned this. This is a 40, uh, 40 round like RPK mag, which this thing fits perfectly in here and still has enough room to grab. So honestly, if you were trying to have some type of RPK roll in your squad, you just want to get three of these and put them in your chest rig, it would fit very well and it would work. That's one of the things that I thought about using this for is just having big ass mags in it. Um, and then mods, what did I do to this thing? I haven't done a whole lot to it yet, but I made some pretty simple changes, which one is I did a paint job on it, just spray painted it. You should probably do the same, just make it blended more. Otherwise, I'll have to take this off. Maybe I'll do that in another clip. If you look at the back of the chest rig, it's bright green, which was the original color, which it doesn't really blend in where I live. Maybe it would work for you if you're in some type of tropical area, but just fucking spray paint it to make it blend into your environment better, which is what I did. The bright green that was originally on it just stood out too much in my opinion. Another thing I did to make these 30 round mags stick out so I could easily get a, a beer can grip on it. I just stuffed gross, grocery bags in here at the bottom. Sounds pretty ghetto, right? But it works. And also they're not gonna be soaking up water, at least that much. Uh, if it does, who gives a shit? It's a cheap chest rig. Uh, last thing I would like to say is future upgrades on this chest rig and maybe some ideas, which hopefully I'll be making about it making a video about this in the future. I would say add the clip on the back with a buckle so you don't have to have this apron type bullshit in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Retention for the mag pouches with Velcro straps and or some type of elastic straps going around the back. And what else? Oh yeah, probably some Molly on here. I might even take off these shitty tiny pouches so I could put other molly compatible pouches on here and also set up my knife on here which that would be nice because it doesn't have a knife and plus i have this uh po knife from pakistan i feel like that would be a pretty uh cool uh thing to put on here do some taliban larp bullshit uh anyways that's my overall review i'm gonna try to fit in some videos in here of me doing some reloads so hopefully i've already done that haven't forgotten that like a dumbass 
And in the future, I plan on doing those upgrades and I'll update you guys. Other than that, what else is there? Oh yeah, drop a comment in the below, like and subscribe if this video wasn't awful. We're new at this. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.